Happy birthday, as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. Today I'll be reviewing the Kaito Voyager Pro KA600L emergency radio. This radio features FM, AM, weather band, shortwave, and longwave bands. I purchased my radio from Amazon for $82, shipped, and I got the silver color. Here's the box it came in. Picture of it. Sweet. Bunch of things it can do. Pictures of the radio from the sides. Top, we have some symbols showing you what the radio can do. And the other side is a similar print. So you get the idea. In the box, we get a charging cable, USB micro variety. You get your limited warranty and project registration. And we get a manual. Take your time, pretty simple. Took me about five, six minutes to go through. Pretty basic stuff. All right, next, the radio. It comes bubble wrapped. Put that down. We'll go over dimensions real quick. We have a length of nine and one half inches. We have a height of five and one quarter inches. And we have a depth of two and three eighths of an inch. Okay, there's a lot of features to go over the radio, so I'll try to hit them all. On the left side of the radio, you'll notice there's a three LED flashlight. Below that is the dynamo crank. Pretty simple and easy to use. Stows away there. On the right side of the radio, we have this guarded tuning knob that notches. Here we have the volume knob, which is smooth. Okay. In front of the radio, you'll notice we have a charging indicator light a low battery indicator light, and an alert mode light. The name Voyager Pro. Power on and off. Here we have memory up and down. These also function as tuning, seeking up and down. Here we have a three inch LCD display, which is nice and large. It displays the date and time most of the time using the radio. Here we have the temperature and humidity display. And then here we have two extra buttons. One is for date when the radio is off to set the date. And when the radio is on, it lets you access the memory function. Here we have a delete button that also access time set when the radio is off. Okay, going over here, we have the speaker, which is a two inch variety. We have a numeric keypad that allows us to direct enter the uh, frequency we want for our radio stations. We have some band select keys we have the FM weather band, we have the AM, and the AM also acts as your shortwave and longwave band select. Here we have a power select from battery, solar crank, and adapter. And it's on battery most of the time. Here we have the symbol RDS, which looks up its radio data system. The, the box says radio date system. I've heard people say it different ways, so I thought I'd mention that. On the top edge of the radio, we have alarm one, which functions as the RDS activate feature. We have alarm two, which lets you set the different modes in the RDS. And then we have the alert button to set the no alert mode. Here we have a sleep timer function. And here we have a snooze and a lock button feature. Okay, oh, and on top here, we have the flashlight switch for our flashlight, nice and bright. And then we have Voyager Pro, yeah. Reading light, turns on the reading lights on the back and I'll show you that in a moment. Here we have this nice carrying strap with like a rubber emboss grip. You can run around with this and not worry about it falling out of your hands. Let's see, we got, uh, we went over the front. Okay, so let's go, oh yeah, there's a little window here. And this window is where the sensors are for the humidity and temperature. You can just see it there. Okay, so let's go to the back of the radio. So on the back, you'll notice the antenna, which is 14 and a half inches when extended. Here we have a solar panel, nice and large, that also pivots upward and shows five LEDs for your reading lamp. And those we can switch on over here on top. 
so nice bright yeah I like that a lot and of course they show it in the picture with this aim forward wherever your sunlight is you can pivot this to get the best angle so we'll close that behind this we have the lithium ion battery and this is a little difficult but we'll see if we can get it open there we go so here it's the uh, replaceable 18650 2000 milliamp hour here you have a little tiny button that use a little toothpick or something to get in there to change the display from Fahrenheit to Celsius a little hidden feature I wouldn't know about it unless I read the manual okay made in China well they mostly are behind here we have a moisture resistant cover we have some ports so you'll see let me see, get a good look at that we have for charging the cell phones we have an in out switch so when you're cranking the dynamo you want to make sure this is on the out so it charges the phone when it's on the in it charges the internal lithium battery here we have your DC in 5 volt for your micro USB charging headphone jack headphone jack uh, produces a lot of hiss this radio is not really good for headphone listening just want to let you know you'll probably just end up using the external speaker most of the time line in for your mp3 devices that need a bigger speaker and then we have a DC in of 6 volts seems a little redundant um, this will run the radio all the time and it also charges the battery and of course that charges the battery so on the newer like uh, 700 they did away with this port so that might have been something from a earlier radio and they incorporated in this radio still okay so let's go ahead and turn the forward here all right let's turn this radio on The volume will not be necessary through tonight. Extend my antenna since we're on a NOAA band. The temperature was 40 degrees. Change the frequency. The point was 33. And the weather, you just turn tune it up. So, pretty basic. If you want to set your alert, you just hit alert. And you, you can't listen to the uh, broadcast from Weather Band, but you can go to AM while that's still going. And you can go to your long wave, and you can go to your short wave. So it's kind of nice that you can do that while that's active. We're going to turn that off. We'll go back to the Weather Band. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and access the FM. So here we go, we got a station. Um, let's show you the RDS. So to activate that, we just hit this button here while the radio's on. Now it says no RT. RT stands for station text message. So we'll see what it loads up. Star 105.5. Your really slow here your music I'm trying to see was it your music variety <laughs> yeah it's not super fast here but it gives you an idea okay and then there's other modes here so if we hit that mode again we have the um, the PS stands for station name okay and it's actually broadcasting the uh, title of the song so that's interesting they, they did a little different and then uh, we'll do the next one which is the uh, program type so adult hits okay so it gives you an idea what the RES does pretty basic um, and you know the FM sounds really good I can't really hover on music Alright, so it gives you an idea of the sound quality. It's not room filling. I wouldn't be punching this up too high. Uh, 
definitely it'll get a lot of distortion pretty quick. It's adequate in a small room. Okay, I'm gonna set this down here. And we're gonna go to the AM frequency. So we just hit the AM band. And we're gonna tune down to the bottom with the tuning knob. There we go. So the nice thing about tuning the radio is there's a bunch of ways to do it. The tuning knob, 10K steps. Here we have seek, press and hold and let go. Press and hold and let go. A life filled with wondrous beauty. Okay, so, and also you can direct key. And then hit the band. When they gotta do something because uh, time is now of the essence. Okay, you can now, uh, there's a little memory button up here. These are really hard to hit, but it says memory. Uh, on the AM, you, if you hold, press and hold this, it's gonna seek out and store stations, and I'll show you what that does. So wherever you're at is where it starts. So let's go up to 1000. And we'll do automatic search and store, pressing and holding this. And it's gonna finish really quick, and there's a reason. And I'm gonna show you that reason in the book because yes, you're gonna to wanna to know. In my comparison video, I show the same page. Um, you get 50 memories for the auto tuning storage starting from 50. And what that means is you have a total of actually 100 FM memories. And when you do the ATS, it starts from 50 to 100, which is really nice. Um, so, your first 50 are untouched, which is a great idea. I really like that idea. I wish more radios did that. The AM, if you notice, they give you 10 memories from 15. So you only get 25 total memories on the AM band, which is really weak for this radio. And that's one downside, one bummer about the AM band and its presets. It's kind of annoying. Because um, I'm an AM listener, I, I would love to have 100 presets on my AM. I don't know why we don't. Um, but anyway, long wave. Um, I don't think we really care too much about long wave. You get 10 memories total. Um, short wave is the same as FM. You get 100 starting from 50 again. Um, yeah, I'd rather have, you know, 25 short waves, and I'd rather have that this right here on the AM. But we don't get that. And here I'll just quick flip the page, and you can see where it shows your total stations that can be stored. So once you store those stations, you just hit this button here and it goes to those stations stored in memory. See it changing. So pretty basic. Okay, so if you wanted to listen to different bands, you would hit this button and it would take you to long wave. And you can do the same thing with long wave. I doubt there'll be anything on long wave. And uh, long wave's got a really cool um, expanded frequency, which is the first radio I think that I own that has this wide of a range. Let me show you, this is the second thing I wanted to show you out of the book. So if you look here at the frequency chart, the long wave gives you 150 to 521 kilohertz. And here's your short wave. We'll look at that real quick. There's 13 bands and they're just showing it in kilohertz or megahertz, same thing, but it's showing all the different meter bands you get. Um, I think it's pretty awesome if you're a shortwave guy. Um, awesome as far as coverage, not so awesome antenna. The antenna is like a, I don't think I found anything here. Nope. Um, the antenna on this is only 14 and a half inches, which means you need yourself a wire to find anything. So let's go ahead and go to the shortwave. And if you hit the meter, the zero button, it lets you scroll through those really quickly to get where you want to, to start searching. So say I want to go to 5,000. Oh, I can hear a time signal. Well, that's cool. I don't have a wire attached, just a normal telescoping antenna. So what we'll do is we'll just clip on a wire that I have, you know, for my Texan, this guy. Makes a big difference. Just a little bit of wire. And then, yeah, it's coming in really clear. So, bonus. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll seek up and see if we can find anything else real quick while we're talking here. Yeah. 
Excelente. So yeah, here's your charge um, left on the battery there. I really like this this three inch LCD display. It's a really clear. It's really nice. And then this lights up too, which is really pretty. I like it. Turn over. There we go. I bumped the tuning knob. Let's seek up. See if we can find anything else. Usually a few stations around this. So definitely, if you have this radio, invest in a wire. It makes a big difference. Without, with, it's like night and day. Okay, so that gives you a general idea of all the bands. So we're gonna go ahead and. Close this here. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn this off here, and we're going to go over a few other things. So the radio has really cool features up on top, and I kind of went over these a little bit too in the other video. You have your alarm settings, which are really nice. So when the radio is off, you can set your alarm, like our alarm one, press and hold, and you can tune to whatever hour, hit it again, whatever minute, and set how long you want the alarm to run for. And then the alarm one is set, and it shows that right up there in the, as an icon. And then if we hit that alarm two, we can set alarm two if we hold that down. So now we have both alarms set for two people. That's really nice. And then you just click it once to get rid of it. Really handy. Snooze buttons, easy to get to. Uh, power mode to uh, the sleep, and I mean timer. So you just click that. And then um, you keep clicking it to whatever time you want. Say so, yeah, I put it for five minutes, and now the radio will turn on and run for five minutes, then turn off. So after this counts down, it's done. So that's just a nice, nice feature. Just hit this again to turn it off. There we go. The power. Okay. So there we are. So here's the yeah. Here's the Kaito. Voyager Pro 600L, final thoughts. Uh, I like the color. The silver is really nice. Um, the audio quality is halfway decent. Um, the AM band is really good at night. Um, it's better than the 700. I definitely noticed that. We're going to do some band scans and a companion video to this. So look forward to that in the next few days. Um, I'm trying to think. I might have forgotten a couple things, but I don't think so. I think it's a pretty straightforward radio. Um, but if I did, uh, use the comment section below and ask. Um, if you own this radio, let me know what you think of it. Um, I like it. Um, I personally, this wouldn't be my go-to radio, even though this is like the purest as far as emergency radios go. This is all you need in a major emergency. It has all the radio stations you ever need, you know, all your bands. It has the al easy alarm settings. Um, you know, when you're stuck somewhere without power, this is pretty important. This is important, having the time and date showing all the time. That's... It is a great feature. Um, having a dynamo crank, yes. This flashlight is probably the best, one of the best ones I've had on my radios. So light is important. Having that large rechargeable battery is also really good. You're gonna have 10 plus hours of use per charge, which is probably more to get through most emergencies without having to start cranking away to charge it up. Um, so yes, uh, at $82, is it a buy? For me, I would rather buy the 700 for the same price. You know, I guess the 700 is actually a couple dollars less. That's just me and my preferences. But if I was to buy this, say for, say I wanted to buy a radio like this for my mom, this is the one I'd buy my mom because it's pretty easy to figure out, pretty easy to navigate. It's all straightforward. She doesn't have to go through a huge learning curve or menu dive or escape and all that stuff. It's all right here. No, just tune, you know, on. I mean, that's all she needs. So yeah, this definitely appeals to the majority of users out there. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. I love you guys. Awesome. Um, if you the first time on this uh, channel and you've seen these videos and you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. 
Um, I put a video out every night, night and sometimes I'm going to probably put two every night when I start doing these band scans. I like to double up. Three, um, make sure to hit the alert button so you are notified. And uh, four, yeah, definitely comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, I really love this radio. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Goodbye.